Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update video. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the patch notes of tomorrow's update. Yes, Battlefront 2 is getting a small update tomorrow, August the 26th. And I have all of the details in this video, the time it will be available, the size of the update, along with everything that is included in this update. Now, this patch does focus mostly on fixing some issues with heroes, so let's just get straight into the patch notes, posted by no other than Ben himself, and we've not seen one of these in a very long time, but it's good to be back. This isn't probably going to happen again, but I'm glad these fixes have been implemented. So, they fixed an issue that would allow players to build up Darth Vader's damage reduction traits, so in short, the invincibility glitch that people abused when using Darth Vader has been fixed, which is fantastic. I know a lot of you really wanted to see this happen. Another abuse of power fixed is the ability for General Grievous to use his Claw Rush to attack enemies multiple times in a short space of time. They've changed this, I believe, based on what we've seen from the early pushed update to the Steam version last week, is that you can't hit people more than twice now, so we shall see how that goes tomorrow. And they've also fixed an issue where Darth Maul would not be able to block after performing a spin attack while blocking. They've also fixed an issue where there would be inaccurate visual effects playing around Boba Fett's jetpack when he was ragdolled. They've also fixed an issue where Boba Fett's jetpack icon would not be greyed out while his abilities were blocked. And finally, they've updated the in-game EA Access and Origin Access logos with the new EA Play logos for that brand new update to the subscription models. The update will start to roll out on Xbox One first at 7am UTC. Then we have the PlayStation 4 version at 8am, followed by the PC version at 9am. As for the download size, it is what you'd expect, it's quite small, so it's just 900 megabytes for the Xbox One and even smaller on the PlayStation 4 at 500 megabytes, and on PC it will vary between 500 and 750, so it won't take long to download, and, and it will be available to you early in the morning in Europe at least, so I can't wait to download that, check it out, and see if I find anything that isn't in the patch notes, and I will share that with you in a video tomorrow guys, so make sure you do subscribe and, and turn notifications on so you don't miss what I have planned for tomorrow when this patch does drop. The hero designer Guillaume tweeted that he managed to do these small fixes during his spare time and it got put into this patch, but he is out for real this time. Have fun and may the force be with you always. Well thank you so much for all of your contributions over the last few years Guillaume for this community and this franchise. I'm glad these got put in because it's just going to make the game less of a mess to play with, especially in Heroes vs. Villains. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below, I'd love to hear them, and if you are new to this channel make sure you do subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video please do drop a like to support the channel. Now check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.